Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create NFT art from scratch. No coding needed. And this is becoming common in the crypto space. We see things that are complex, simplified so that anyone can participate. We saw this with flash loans. Flash loans are very complex and require experience as a developer. But with the application through Combo, now anyone can participate in flash loans. We also saw this with yield farming, which also can be very complex. But now with your in finance, if you're in finance, a person can deposit their money into your your in finance and it automates the whole yield farming process for you. But even though we have these applications that simplify things, it does not mean that it is risk free. When using something like your in finance or Furu combo, you still are risking losing your money. And surprisingly, even when you use Rarible, you are at risk of losing your money. And I'm going to explain why in this video. But enough of that, let's jump into how to make NFT art from scratch. Let's get to it. With no coding experience needed, let's create NFT art using Rarible. So we're going to go to rarible.com and we're going to connect our wallet in the upper right hand corner. And there are a few different wallets that are accepted for Rarible, but we're going to use MetaMask. This is the wallet that I've used in all my videos and this is typically the wallet that is accepted across most decentralized protocols. So we're gonna give it permission to connect. And once it's connected, we can now interact in the Rarible marketplace. We can buy and sell NFT art, but we're here to create NFT art. So in the upper right hand corner, it says create collectible. We're gonna click that and we're gonna see we can either create a single collectible or multiple. So we can have a one of one rare or we can make multiple collectibles. So let's do multiple. So we're gonna do multiple and start from scratch and it's gonna say select an image, JPG, PNG or, or a GIF. So you can use any file as long as it is a JPEG, PNG or GIF. It could be a picture you took on your phone. It could be a picture that you took 30 years ago that you uploaded onto your computer with a scanner, any file that meets these criteria. So if you have a file already or a picture that you wanna turn into an NFT, you can just upload it right here. But let's say you have a file or an image that is not part of these formats. It's very easy to convert them. You can go to onlineconvert.com and you can convert an image to a PNG file, or you can also go to onlineconvert.com and convert an image to a JPEG file. So let's just do a quick example. So let's say I have an image and I need it to be this format, but it's not one of these formats already. We go to choose files, right? I'm gonna take this PNG image and we're gonna convert it to a JPEG, right? So it's uploading, start conversion, right? And once that is finished, download, and now I have my PNG JPEG image, right? So just like that, now I can go and I can upload it to Rarible. Also, it said in Rarible that it, they recommend that the file should be under 10 megabytes. So if you do have a file that is above 10 megabytes and you want to compress it, go to tinypng.com. You can take a PNG file or a JPEG file and you can compress it. Same thing here, like I just did with the previous example. Click right here, upload the image. Right, now it's compressing, and now the file has shrunk by almost 50%, and then we can download that. So once we have those images, we can go back to Rarible, and we can upload it. But let's say you wanna create an image from scratch. I prefer using Canva. This is where I make my thumbnails. I think this is a great software. There is a free version and also there is the paid version, which is about $10 per month. So let's take, let's make a quick piece of NFT art for our up, when we're going to upload to Rarible. So we're gonna create a design. We'll do Insta Instagram post here. On Canva, you can do any sort of art or you can do Instagram posts, Facebook posts, brochure, anything you can think of really. It's a great program. So instead of, uh, let's do crypto dog, right? So instead of crypto kitty, we'll do a crypto dog. All right, so let's look up dog. All 
All right, so we'll take this bulldog over here. We can enlarge it. You can do whatever you want really on, on, on Canva. It's very easy to use. We'll get an Ethereum logo. All right, and this is our NFT. Now let's save it. So download. We'll call it Crypto Crypto Dog, like Crypto Kitty, but Crypto Dog, right? And there we have our PNG file. So let's go back to Rarible and let's upload it. So we're gonna choose our image, our Crypto Dog, right? And then as we go down, we can choose a collection. You can just keep it on Rarible, or you can create your own collection. But I'm just gonna keep it as a Rarible collection. Then we're gonna give it a name. So we're gonna call it Crypto dog uh, Mike, crypto dog Mike. Then we can do an optional description. This is a crypto dog, right? Whatever you want. Then over here, we can choose how many copies we want. Remember, we did multiple collectibles, so we can do one, we can do two, we can do five. Let's do three, we're gonna do three. And then over here, you see it says royalties. So this means that after you sell your NFT to someone, Every time it is sold after that, you will receive a royalty. So you can keep it as 10%, 20%, or 30%. So the first time you sell your NFT that you made, you'll get 100% of the proceeds. But after that, the person you sell it to, when they sell it, you can get a royalty. So they recommend or suggested 10, 20, or 30%. I'll just keep it at 10%. Then we can give properties to our NFT. And this will depend on what you're actually creating. So we'll do uh, property, the key, animal, dog, type, bulldog. All right, so you can go as heavy on this as you want. You can create properties, you can create no properties, that's up to you. Then we're gonna set a price for it. So there's a service fee of 2.5%, but let's just sell it for 0 0.03 Ethereum. Right, And then for unlock once purchased, don't touch that. Just leave that as is. And then we're going to create our NFT. Here's a preview of what our NFT will look like. So it's part of the Rarible collection. And as of now, the owner is me. That's my address. Right, So we're going to create. And this is where we run into the risk or the issue of creating NFTs. So you might have came to this, you know, clicked on this video thinking, I'm going to create an NFT and I'll sell it for a big price. You know, I'll just create a hundred of these NFTs, maybe a thousand. One of them will eventually sell. But the problem is every time you create an NFT, it is a transaction on the Ethereum blockchain. So you're going to pay a gas fee. So right now, this gas fee to mint this token is $6.21, which this week, I would consider very low. I've been seeing these gas fees for $9, $10, but $6 is still a lot of money to create an NFT that likely won't sell. A person really needs to understand the NFT art market before they create these because they might end up creating 100 of these tokens and the cost was $7 here, $10 here, and it adds up to hundreds of dollars. So if we confirm this, then it will create this new NFT token. It will enter our MetaMask wallet. I'm not actually going to confirm this because I've been making a lot of these videos recently and just paying $10 here, $20 here, just for testing purposes. And I just wanted to show you that it's not always worth it to create NFT art if you don't understand the marketplace. But like I said, we can use any image that we want as long as it is a JPEG, PNG, or GIF. Again, you can use a, a GIF on Canva, actually. Over here, when you save your image, you can actually create a GIF. So you can create moving art, and you can upload that to Rarible. And now it will be in your, once it's minted, it's in your MetaMask wallet. You can sell it in Rarible. You can go to another marketplace, such as OpenSea, and you can sell it there. So these, NFT art pieces that we just went over and the one I just created, is it is entirely digital. Once you own that NFT art piece, that's it. You own the whole thing. But sometimes, not sometimes, but there are NFTs that are backed by real world art. So if you have this NFT, you have the rights to 
get a real world art piece. And a popular example of a NFT backed by a real world item are Unisocks. This started out as an experiment to see, can we make a decentralized marketplace of NFTs where they could actually be used to redeem real socks and no longer an experiment, it worked and people are paying a lot of money for these socks. So it's a decentralized marketplace of these NFTs. You can trade them, you can sell them. And then once someone has it, they have the right to redeem the actual sock. So on OpenSea, which is a marketplace for NFTs, we can see that people are selling these socks. And if we go to Unisocks Exchange, this is created by the same creators as Uniswap, we can see that you can actually buy these Unisocks NFTs. And once you own them, you can redeem the actual socks. Right now, a pair of these socks is going for about $4,245. So if we go to Unisocks Exchange, we can connect our MetaMask wallet, just like we connect to all these other decentralized applications, and we can buy the socks. But if we own them, we can sell them or redeem them. As you can see, I don't have Unisocks in my MetaMask wallet, so there's no option to hit sell or hit redeem. But people actually are redeeming these. So they created 500, 500 pairs of socks. So there are 500 of these Unisox tokens. And so far, 182 of them have been redeemed. So once they're redeemed, those tokens are out of circulation. So as you can see, there's NFT art that is entirely digital. And then we have NFTs that are backed by real world assets. I hope that you found value in this video. And if you want more of this content, go down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.